All right, Tom, here's one of the window boxes that we're going to be installing on your house today. Now, these are made of cellular PVC. They uh, look like wood, you work it like wood, but it won't rot like wood. All right, now you have vinyl siding on the house, so it's pretty easy to take the siding off so we can locate the structure. But I can tell you right now, on each side of the window, there's a jack stud and a king stud. I want to find some structure in the middle so we can mount the window box to that. All right, now that frees up the vinyl so I can look underneath. And I see that you have an air infiltration barrier on here, which is good. Now if I tap on the wall right here, there's a king stud and a jack stud, nice and solid. Same thing down here, nice and solid. But I want to find something in the middle. So I listen. Sounds like there might be one there. All right, there's a stud right there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a reference off of the hole that we drilled into the structure and mark the window right there as a reference. All right, now we need to put our siding back into position. And to do that, I need this tool right here. This is called a zip tool. And if you notice, right on the top, there's this little hook. That hook will go under the siding and hook on that edge, locking the siding into position. Now I'm just going to hold the box to the underside of the window and just eyeball it, but center it. Now I'm going to transfer the mark that's on the window down to the window box. I'm using my drill with a right angle attachment so I can fit it inside the window box and drill straight through the back of the window box into the siding to mark a reference hole. Okay, now we'll drill a bigger hole. Well, I'm actually going to take my drill and I'm going to drill a 5 eighths of an inch hole so that the siding will move around our lag bolts. Now I need to drill a hole into the structure. So when I screw in the lag bolt, I won't split the structure. So this hole needs to be a little bit smaller than the diameter of the lag bolt, so I'll drill a quarter inch hole. All right, now what I want to do before we install the lag bolts into the holes, I want to cock the holes to make them watertight. Now I've started the lag bolts into the hole at the back of the window box, and we'll just line them up with the hole in the wall. All right, it's all mounted to the wall, and that's not going to go anywhere. All right, the next thing we have to do is we need to mount these brackets underneath, and they're PVC brackets, so they're going to go just about like that on each end, and we'll actually glue them in place with some PVC cement. Push it right up there, line it up on one of those lines. All right, that should hold it. Well, it looks great, but it'll really look nice when we get some flowers in here. Well, I sure will, but you know what? I'm no landscaper, but I actually know a guy that can help you out. Take a look at these flowers. This is what we're gonna fill your window boxes with today. Now, they're primarily annuals, which means they'll blossom and blossom all the way till fall, and then they'll die. But what I like to do is sneak in a perennial here and there. This is called Hack and Chloe, and see the gold color on that? That'll last all season long, but it's a perennial. So at the end of the season, you can take it out of the window box and plant it out in the garden. This is a chartreuse sweet potato vine. This is gonna hang over and grow right over this edge of the pot. Next to the sweet potato vine, we have two osteospernum. This one's called Soprano, and this one is Peach Symphony. How do you like that color? I like the colors, they go well together. The first thing we have to do is put in a piece of landscape fabric. And what that's gonna do is protect all those little holes down in there from getting clogged and also allowing dirt to come through the bottom of the box and staining the house. I wanna put in about an inch of this stone, so I'm gonna dump some out. You just take and spread it around for me. All right, that looks good. Now these window boxes, they come with a real interesting feature. It's a self-watering reservoir. This is inch and a half PVC pipe that has a couple elbows glued on it here, and it comes down, an end cap, and then a fill here. Now you put water in this when you're watering your plants, and the water comes down, fills the pipe, and then it will wick out into the soil. Instead of watering two or three times a week, you may only water once a week. So we're just gonna take this, come over here with me, and I want that end out where we can get at it very easily. Get that sit all right? Yep. Okay, let's get some soil in the box. Nice job, it looks really nice. 
Now there's fertilizer in this soil, but it's gonna take a while to break down. So I added liquid fertilizer to this watering can and I'm giving the plants a good drink to really get them off on the right foot. The rest of the time you're gonna water these boxes with that wand. Take and hit that for me. See what a nice stream of water? It's gonna make it very easy to keep these nice and wet. But for now, I want you to fill that reservoir up for me. Wow, Roger, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. 